Hey, it's Poetry Puh Thursday again, because you can't have poetry without alliteration. This week we are reading two poems by Robert Browning. You may be able to piece together why we're doing two of them. They are Love in Life and Life in Love. And I will let Editing Anna tell you right here which one we're going to read first, because I honestly don't remember right now. If you were paying attention last Poetry Puh Thursday... We read Sonnet 43 by Elizabeth Barrett Browning, which I will link up here. Robert is her husband, and they both wrote these poems at sort of kind of the same time, just at the beginning of their uh, courtship, and they're falling in love with each other, and it's just so, ah, and all of that additional context and historical information and additional articles and things like that and sources will be down in the video description box, as always. Love in a Life by Robert Browning 1. Room after room we hunt the house through, we inhabit together. Heart, fear nothing, for heart thou shalt find her. Next time herself, not the trouble behind her left in the curtain, the couch's perfume. As she brushed it, the cornice wreath blossomed anew, Yon looking-glass gleamed at the wave of her feather. 2. Yet the day wears, and door succeeds door. I try the fresh fortune, range the wide house from the wing to the center. Still the same chance. She goes out as I enter. Spend my whole day in the quest. Who cares? But tis twilight, you see. With such sweets to explore, such closets to search, such alcoves to importune. Life in a Love by Robert Browning Escape me, never, beloved, while well, I am I, and you are you, so long as the world contains us both. Me the loving, and you the loth. While the one eludes, must the other pursue. My life is a fault at last, I fear. It seems too much like a fate, indeed. Though I do my best, I shall scarce succeed. But what if I fail of my purpose here? It is but to keep the nerves at strain, to dry one's eyes and laugh at a fall, and, baffled, get up and begin again, so the chase takes up one's life, that's all. While well, look but once from your farthest bound at me so deep in the dusk and dark, no sooner the old hope goes to ground than a new one, straight to the self-same mark I shape me, ever removed. The End Good night.